This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Brothers, many men navigate life usually with themselves at the center. Their own ego is the anchor from which they move forward and pursue their journeys. But brothers, when seeking eternal life, life in communion with God, it's about anchoring in Jesus Christ and pursuing his journey. What does Jesus say repeatedly when he calls forth disciples? Follow me. All must position themselves such that every action reflects him or his action. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. So brothers, we are called to move through him, with him, and in him. If we do not act in this mode, then we move through our own egos, with our desires, in our best interests. And that does not bring life. Christians must become all that is Jesus Christ. When people see you, they should see Christ. That is why we all have bodies, so we can image Christ to the world. We are his embodiment, so we can act out what he did on this earth. Brothers, you are not called to become the best version of yourselves. You are called to become the best versions of Christ. So don't compare yourselves with others. Compare yourselves with Jesus. He is the paradigm. He is the model. Your story, brothers, is already written. Your biography is already scripted out, it is drafted in the Gospels. And when you make it about Jesus' journey, you find in the Bible, you will move more in peace and less in fear. All your experiences, by your hand or another, all your joys and sorrows, your victories and trials, your prayers, your works, all can be seen in him. Now, brothers, when you view your life through Jesus Christ, through that lens, that will give you clarity. And you will start asking so many questions, like, why did this happen? Or what is the purpose of this? Or how do I interpret that? Many men are trying to find themselves continually and always asking one question after another about what goes on in their lives. Brothers, that search comes to an end when you put yourself in his quest. The greatest freedom is to surrender to the legacy of Jesus Christ. Make it about his story and not your story. Brothers, it's not so much about him moving in you. It is more about you moving in him. So be assured, when you make it about his journey and not yours, eternal life comes within your grasp and you will discover that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Brothers, God be with you.